So my name is Jade, I'm not Thomas, I'm sorry. I don't know how to work this either. Right? Okay. Okay, so my name is Jade Lee. I'm a senior at Northwest High School. Um, and the title of my piece is In Between the Moments of Our Love. Our love was like the Nile River, strange. And that its flow was unlike any other. It was different and more meaningful than all other loves. After every sorrow driven and joyful day, I just wanted to be near you to make you happy. And I knew you loved me, but in between moments of fear and pain lies doubt. And I doubted you every second of every day, every time we were apart. Would you still love me if my hands could never produce another melody? Would you still love me if my GPA mimicked my math grade? I loved you every day of my life, and I couldn't understand why anyone would ever love me the way you claimed to. I kept you in the four most sacred chambers and let you act as the heart to my body and the Nile to its banks and beat me. I learned to predict the, pain, uh, to predict the fights, to foresee the pain as the Egyptians did the flood. Our love was like the Nile River. The floods would come and destroy everything near it, but when it subsided, it created the most fertile soil where we could plant anything, where I chose to plant pieces of my heart. But I was so naive to the fact that there was not enough time, not enough time between the flood seasons, but I continued to sow the seeds of my soul because in between moments of fear and pain lies faith, and I had faith in you. I believe that if I worked hard enough, that if I loved you enough, it would be enough. But it never was. So after each flood, I became increasingly desperate to prolong the next. I jumped at your beck and call. I became the instrument of your will, questioning you still. Would you still love me if my dedication were to lack? Would you still love me if I said no, just once? But more than you, I doubted myself, doubted I was worth more than the skipping stone I called a heart that I so willingly threw into you that any other person could ever value me the way you did. You knew you were irreplaceable to me, but I knew I was dispensable to you because you had three daughters. But I only had one dad. So I did everything in my power, but I wasn't enough. And the floods just kept coming sooner and sooner until they never again subsided. And I found myself drowning in the Mediterranean Sea, gasping for air, trying to instantaneously learn to swim, but I never did. I washed up on the shores with a decision I never thought was an option because in between moments of fear and pain lies life, my life, and I had to live without you, even if I still love you. And to this day, I find myself so questioning, do you still love me?